Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today, I got a couple Port Charlottes here, the MC01 and the MRC01. They're both similar and they use 50% ex bourbon, 50% French oak, but they're each finished in a different wine cask. I'll let you know how those similarities and differences play a role when I nose them, taste them, and give them a mark. Starting with the MC01, 100% Scottish barley. This is cast strength, 56.3% ABV. 52% of this is ex bourbon matured. 48% of it is French oak matured. That's matured for about seven years, married together, then finished in a Sicilian Marcella cask for an additional two years, making this nine years old. It's a uh, 40 PPMs. I'm using my Brooklady classic Lati tasting glass. Um, so the MC just saying for Marcella cask. Let's see if this is on the nose. So lots going on with this nose um floral notes right off the top you get this like orange kind of zestiness to it then you go like right into like some kind of like earthy kind of farm notes to this damp hay it's like muddy kind of style of peat um i don't know if i want to go as far as saying manure for this one but you do kind of get that like just essence of barn kind of like aromas in this whiskey and then you get like just you get like fresh peach like really nice peach notes in here definitely like a salt seafood uh shellfish kind of combo with this one it's just like it's very octomore and if you put this in front of me and told me it was octomore i would totally believe you because you get those salt fruit farm notes all kind of together it reminds me of a 0.3 Octomore, it really, really does. And of course, if you watch the channel, you know that I love those 0.3 Octomores. Awesome nose, love it. Let's go palette. Crazy good. Again, those, those fruit notes, you get the, like zesty peach, you get some pear in this one. Um, and again, those farm notes kind of carry over that muddy kind of style of peat, um, that hay note, and then salt, the brine, the seafood really comes through. Um, just really, really good whiskey finish. You get a little bit of like creamy kind of oakiness to it. The saltiness, the brininess linger. Those peach notes are still there. And then that peat, of course, long finish, great, great whiskey. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it tastes very, very similar. It drinks just like a 0.3 Octomore, which, you know, I love. Um, score wise for me on this one, I'm giving it 90 out of 100. And for value, $130 Canadian for this. Can't go wrong, cast strength, nine years old. Um, bumping up an extra point, 91 out of 100 for me on this one. Awesome whiskey, let's move on to the MRC01. All right, the MRC01, again, 100% Scottish barley, cash strength, 59.2% ABV, 50% ex bourbon, 50% second fill French wine cask. That's married together, then finished for one year in a Bordeaux Mouton Rothschild wine casks. I probably butchered that, sorry, but that's what the MRC stands for, the Mouton Rothschild cask. Again, this one's uh, 40 ppm's, um, seven years old. I think only 8,000 bottles of this one were produced. Let's see how it is on the nose. So this one, you get like some uh, like red kind of fruits, like raspberry, strawberry almost, but like dirty raspberry, dirty strawberry notes. You get that kind of like dank style peat. You get a little bit of that um, hay kind of note, almost like those farm notes, but kind of more subtle here. Not as much, for sure. You get a lot of like sea salt, salt water, ocean spray kind of like air in this one. You get some vanilla, maybe like like a sourdough kind of bready note, note to this one too. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy whiskey, lots of complexity. I love it. Let's go palette.
so definitely some some fruit notes here you get like a zesty kind of peach note you get some lemon um creamy kind of oakiness to this you get pepper for sure maybe a little bit of like steak spice maybe like a little bit of that montreal steak spice right on the finish um a little more medicinal i'd say this one um versus the other maybe like a little bit of like creme brulee kind of dessertness um peach notes kind of linger on the finish and you get this like to go along with that medicinal note you almost get like a band-aid kind of note you know those like those tan fabric band-aids if you've ever like tried to peel one off with your teeth and you kind of taste it I get that note in here that's insane um but really really complex really nice whiskey again this one it it smells and tastes similar to an Octomore it's got a little bit of Octomore in it I'd say this one more like the point ones uh versus the uh the MC which is more like a point three so a little more farm notes of this this one less farm notes but maybe a little more medicinal um, and a little bit of like different kind of fruit notes to it. They still both have those like kind of salty, you know, kind of seafood notes to it. This one may be a little bit more on like the peppercorn uh, spiciness to it, but really great, awesome whiskeys. Um, for the MRC01, I'm gonna score it uh, 88 out of 100. And for value, again, 130 Canadian dollars. I'm bumping up another point, 89 out of 100 on this one. Let's compare these uh, head to head. All right, so both these whiskeys, very Octomore-esque. Again, I would say that the MC is more like a 0.3 Octomore, the MRC more like a 0.1 Octomore, more farm notes um, in this one, lots of like, they both have lots of salt, lots of kind of like sea-esque aspects to them. Um, but I'd say the finish on the MC a little bit longer, um, more farm notes, of course, on this one. A little more medicinal, I'd say, on the MRC. Um, and again, both super complex, really awesome, heavy, heavy peated whiskeys. Now they're only 40 ppm. So if you're comparing them to Octomore, you know, Octomore is like, you know, four or five times those ppms, depending on what batch you're looking at. But as far as the smoke level, it's very, very similar. And I guess I'm still not fully understanding like how that works with like the cuts and where they pull the distillate from and how the peat kind of transfers from there to the final product. That's all kind of, you know, um, chemistry that's, you know, over my head. But as far as smell and taste, 40 ppm with these, very similar to the 169, the 258 uh, ppms you're looking in those Octomores. I love both these whiskeys. I think they're both awesome. Um, the MC is, if you look at their website, it's a travel retail bottle. I mean, found this in a store. The MRC, uh, they're listed as um, being limited to 8,000 bottles. I'm not really sure the release on the MC, but if you see them both on a shelf and you have to pick one, if you're a 0.3 Octomore person, I would go with this. If you're a 0.1 Octomore person, I would go with this, but you're not gonna make a bad decision in my opinion, they're both, Super complex, super awesome whiskeys. If you like those bold, heavy, heavy flavors, salt, brine, farm notes, uh, fruit mixed in, it's all kind of like jumbled, but it all works. It's all kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's my cup of tea. These fit my palate like perfectly. So very happy to have them. Um, and uh, let me know what you think. Port Charlotte's, the whole line, the heavily peated, you know, the Scottish barley, um, let me know what you think. What ones have you tried? What ones do you like? Um, Octomores, of course. Um, let me know if you think you, uh, what Octomore you like the best too. If you've had these, let me know, are they similar to Octomores in your opinion? Because for me, they're very, very similar. Um, very similar indeed. Appreciate it as always, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Lots of good stuff coming up on the channel. Um, more live shows coming. Uh, more giveaways as always. You know the unicorns are still going to keep coming out, so uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, comment below. Really always appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. Cheers.